right, hi everyone. Um, so I'll be the first one speaking today. Are you guys excited? Yeah! yeah. First speaker, AlterCon Chicago. All right, uh, so as previously mentioned, um, my talk today will be discussing employee resource groups and you, as well as me. Um, and this is really about improving females' experience in the workplace. So my real uh, legal name is Alexandra Dobkin. Uh, I know that's a mouthful for some people, so you can just call me Dobbs. All right, so with that, uh, let's get started. Click. Click. There we go. OK, so a little bit about me. So right now, I'm a software engineer at Bloomberg. And I very much love my job. Uh, but prior to my current career as a programmer, I had careers in other male-dominated industries, such as management consulting and finance. In those careers, I encountered, I encountered all of the negative experiences listed on the slide. For instance, uh, when I was in management consulting, I was at a firm that was 13% women. Uh, and very often, I would be the only female in the group. Um, a lot of times, unbeknownst to me, the team and other members in the company would go out to places like strip clubs and not invite me because I was a female. And a lot of times, there was bonding that would go on. People would discuss work and other things. And I would be increasingly um, marginalized from the group from a social as well as professional level. So I have a question for the group. How many of you can relate to some or all of the experiences on this slide? All right, yeah, so that's a few hands too many. <laughs> so we as underrepresented and underserved females are suffering in the workplace. Every one of us probably has a story that's just like mine or highlights on the themes that were touched upon in the previous slide. So my experience in tech at Bloomberg has been resoundingly different. And I'm here today to inspire the belief that women can be empowered at work, especially in the tech industry. So the question that I pose is, can workplace experiences be different? And the answer is yes. It's important to me to share my story today because as a woman, I have been able to have a positive experience in a male-dominated industry that is categorically known for not treating women well. I am here to give you tools to take back to your company so you can have the same awesome experience that I'm having. So for me, my experience at Bloomberg has been so positive because of the presence of employee resource groups. From here on out, I'll refer to them as ERGs. So what are ERGs? I found a definition online from catalyst.org that I'd like to share. <clears throat> ERGs are voluntary, employee-led groups that serve as a resource for members and organizations by fostering a diverse, inclusive workplace aligned with organizational mission, values, goals, business practices, and objectives. <clears throat> So pillars of ERGs include a sense of community, promoting visibility, and providing resources such as mentorship for its members. So again, let's do a quick show of hands. How many of you have ERGs at your company? All right, not very many. <laughs> Looks like four, maybe five. Um, so of those uh, with your hand, that held your hands up, how many of you feel that the ERGs are providing the support that you need? Awesome, zero, or one, we had one, one, half, half, sort of, okay. <laughs> um, so ERGs are important when they're implemented correctly uh, because promoting diversity is important. ERGs are one of the best tools for supporting and promoting women. Diversity is great for all parties involved, from the individual to the business. Hopefully I'm preaching to the choir here. Um, so as you can see from some of the quotes that I've pulled, or maybe not see because it ended up being a little bit smaller than I you know, hoped, um, but overall, you know, what these quotes really highlight is that diversity promotes innovation, economic growth, a more creative workplace, a more responsive company, and this goes on and on and on. Um, these articles are great, and there's so many benefits to read about. So as we saw before with the show of hands, just the presence of ERGs clearly isn't sufficient. So let's break it down. What exactly is Bloomberg doing to make its ERGs so successful? So 
So I'd like to call out two of the Bloomberg ERGs that are pertinent to me. The Bloomberg Women's Community, also known as BWC, and the Bloomberg Women in Technology, BWIT, ERGs. At Bloomberg, 13% of employees participate in the women's community. The commonalities between the two ERGs is that they both, and this is going to be a long list, is that they both focus on recruitment, networking, awareness, leadership, mentorship, community, career development, and retention. So I'd like to dive into this a little bit more specifically. ERG recruitment is important because it increases the representation of women. When recruiting, it's important that Bloomberg women are involved in the process so that the face of the company has adequate female representation when reaching outward. In general, people rely heavily on networks to hire, and when women have a female network, it provides a positive feedback loop and an avenue to bring in even more women. ERGs impact retention, as within a large company like Bloomberg, there are lots of opportunities for internal mobility. It's important to have strong networks and relationships at the company so that women can discover other opportunities in other teams and ultimately have the job that makes them extremely happy. So I'd like to zoom in a little bit right now on the BWIT ERG because it does some pretty cool things. So for example, there are tech talk platforms for females to practice speaking, be supported, and to leverage the community in order to encourage each other to go to conferences, meetups, and ultimately further their technical skills. Additionally, there's a strong emphasis on career development with hosted membership talks and workshops, as well as events where more junior women can network with more senior leadership. So the, you know, it's a long slide. <laughs> also, the group mentors young women pursuing STEM education and career paths. Women volunteer together on a shared passion, which allows women from all over engineering to meet and form super strong bonds. Working on something larger than yourself uh, creates a cohesive network and a sense of community. Additionally, as a company, Bloomberg is really, really big on philanthropy, and BWIP partners with external philanthropies to help them find opportunities targeted at girls in the middle and high school level pursuing STEM paths. As Bloomberg's ERGs are interdisciplinary, um, something on the previous slide, they permeate across all teams, such as the communications team. So uh, uh, about um, a year ago, the communications team wanted to write a piece on a new hire and decided to write one on someone from an underrepresented group, which turned out to be me. Uh, so the article chronicled my background on previously working in finance, how I studied to be a software engineer at a full-time coding boot camp, and what my experience has been so far on the job as a programmer at Bloomberg. It was a successful article, earning a lot of attention, and eventually becoming the seventh most read internal article of 2016. Mom was proud. <laughs> so the article written about me has had positive rippling effects. Since it received so much attention, People really know who I am at the firm. And just to give some context, there are over 15,000 employees at Bloomberg. It greatly increased my visibility. After the article was published, people came out of the woodwork to congratulate me and welcome me to the company. Now, when I introduce myself to new people and provide just the slightest bit of background, about 40% of the time, people get this you know, strange, almost like puzzled look on their face, and then they exclaim, I know you. It's a really cool feeling. From that, networking has been so much easier, and I feel that I'm more memorable now when I meet fellow colleagues. Networking is now fun. Who knows if the person I'm meeting has read about me before. Additionally, I've received a lot of praise on my non-traditional background of working in management consulting as well as finance. Now, when our team talks to our business counterpart, I feel empowered to participate because of my background in management consulting and knowing that others value it. When our team talks to our product counterpart, I feel empowered to participate because of my background in finance and knowing that others value it. I know my worth and others do too. I'm able to stand out and I'm very appreciative of the ERGs at Bloomberg. So as we start to wrap up, I would like to say that there are many, many ways that you can get your company to provide the same wonderful experience that I've had at Bloomberg. 
So here are some take home tips to help you get started. Number one, and I think this applies to the vast majority of the audience, start. Start an ERG today. Okay, not today, maybe Monday. <laughs> Number two, um, once you've started the ERG, participate. Please participate in an ERG because you'll be able to reap the benefits of the ERG, but not only you, but other people that are like you that aren't necessarily participating, but will receive the positive effects as the culture begins to change and empower underrepresented and underserved groups. Three, connect. Connect with females across the firm, across verticals, across offices, across everything. And number four, evolve. So once you have your ERGs, they're up and running, you're participating, and you've connected everyone that you can, encourage ERG leaders to ensure that ERGs are constantly evolving. If you think they could do more, participate and be vocal about it. So I hope you're inspired to influence change at your company. Thank you for your time, and thank you for listening. Uh, thanks, guys. So if you'd like to talk about this more, I could talk about this all day, uh, here are a couple ways to contact me. Um, also, when I put on my name tag, I'll be having the green, so please feel free to come up and say hi. Uh, there's also a little appendix. So if you'd like to read that article about me for yourself, um, it's available online. Here's the link. And then also, if you're interested in reading about um, Bloomberg's DNI website, I think it's a great resource, especially if you feel that your company isn't doing a great job. Bloomberg can definitely um, give some pointers. The blog articles are extremely informative. Um, and then lastly, any questions? OK, I guess I answered everything. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope to talk to you all later.